85606 on another review and I hope you guys enjoyed that new intro that me and my best friend made. So right now I'm going to do a two pack on the infected Joker and the Tim Drake Robin. So let's not waste any time. Let's do this. I'm going to do the Joker first. And yep, here it is. So alright, so I'm gonna show you the articulation. His arm does move all around. 360 degrees does move at the elbow moves at this muscle joint his wrist does go all the way around his head does not move up and down a little swivel and does go around so in out back forth elbow wrist and this this part I don't not know what that is called though so he does move at the hip and he does move at his chest uh, front and back which is I thought was really cool it's the first time I, the first time I have that so alright and let's go to the feet this does move out in back forth does move at the does move at the knee moves at this part too the thigh part and his feet do not move which kind of surprised me because I'd like that in this. So that's basically it for this guy. So let's have a close up on his face. Uh, he's infected because of the Titan, of the Titan chemicals that he took in Arkham Asylum when he became that huge big monster in the game. So this is what he looks like. Great detail, amazing detail. He's got a 360 spin on him. Alright, so that's basically it for this guy. And Joker does stand up pretty good. Not that much. Yeah. Alright, so let's get to Tim Drake as Robin. Let me show you a full 360. 360. Let's go to the articulation. His hand does does not move all around because it hinders it because of the chat uh, the cape. Does move back a little bit. Moves at the elbow a little bit. Does move in the wrist. Does go out in back a little bit. Fourth and yeah, same thing for this guy. For this for this arm does move his torso a little bit like a barely I would say his head does move not all the way around which is kinda bad his uh, leg does go out in forward not back at all which is kinda sad and he does move at the hip joint just like the Joker does over here and which the Joker does, which he has that the Joker doesn't, is a foot joint, up and down, which I thought was pretty cool. And that's all the articulation he has. So let's go to the detail. All right, uh, his face is not very detailed, just the just the mask, face and nose, but it is really, really good formed. You see the R over here, the chest, which is really nice, his belt, the legs, the boots are green a little bit, red down over there, red here, and the cape is just black and his hood is black, and the inside of the cape over here is yellow, and it's kind of vinyl, the cape, and this, the cape is connected to the hood, which I thought was pretty cool actually, and so is the his suit connected to all this so it's kind of attached somewhere over here and over here and this is attached over here you can see a little white spot where that's connected so that's basically it for this review I'm going to try and stand them up over here alright so yeah, they stand up pretty good don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment and I'll just show you the box that it came in. I already opened it, so this is what it looks like.
is what it came in. I got it from Toys R Us for $48. Yeah, a lot. This is the picture that came in the back from Arkham City, Batman, uh, Joker, and Robin. And that is basically it for this review. I'll just see you guys later. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. And see you guys. Bye.